Hi, welcome to another next time video tutorial. I want to do an explosion in an assembly and I want to show you how to get this explosion into the drawing. The most important thing is you have to do the explosion in the drawing part. So you could do it inside the assembly part or you could go for a new drawing part. So I will go for a new one. File, New, A3 size, that's okay with me. Let's check. You have to make sure that you're inside the right part. Yeah, And I want to do a drawing of this assembly. That's the new file, the drawing to the assembly. So let's go for options 1 to 2, scale wise. Orientation should be top, yes. And I think I got some arrangements right here, so I will go for a closed position. And just put it right here. If you think this boundary is too big, you can minimize it by pressing right mouse button and go to boundary and change from manual rectangle to automatic rectangle. And OK. Now you get a small frame for this view. So if I want to do an explosion, which should go into this drawing, you have to do it in this part that's the drawing part. You see it's DWG that's the drawing part. Don't do it in the assembly itself if you went for a new file drawing just do it in the drawing. So to switch into the construction mode just press Control and M and you're in the construction environment. Okay, seems my arrangement is the wrong one. I go for the closed one. Okay, now I want to do an explosion. So it's, I go for exploded views. But first, you should make a new view. I add a view and call this one explosion. And it's now the view in which I work. So now go for exploded views. Make sorry, make a new explosion. Call it explosion one, that's okay. Confirm. Yeah. And now you could do an auto explosion, which might work. I will go for edit, edit Explosion. OK. First you have to select the objects which you want to move. So select objects, maybe this one. And I could select these four as well. So go for this one, that one, this one and that one. Now if you want to move the objects, go to move objects, you got this working coordinate system and as soon as you select one of these arrows or one of these balls, this will be active. So go for set direction. Now this is active and you could change the direction at your will but I just will move these parts a little bit up. Next, go back to select objects, deselect this, select the maybe this one, move up. 
select, deselect by pressing shift and selecting the part again, select this one and move it up a little bit, maybe like this, that's okay. Now deselect and select this one, not all the parts, just this one. Go to Move Objects and move it sideways like this. Select Objects, deselect, select this one, move again, maybe like this. And OK. So I got a nice little exploded view. You could add some lines if you want. Go to exploded view, go to trace lines and you could add some trace lines if you want. For example, maybe from this point up through to that one. Maybe some more fly, maybe like this. Apply. apply and maybe from this point up to that point and OK. Now go for your explosion view, right click and save it. Now change back to the drawing environment by pressing Control Shift and D for drawing. Sorry. And now you can do a new base view and selecting the explosion. So go for base view. Make sure you select not the assembly but the drawing part. Select it and you have to go for a different view, not the top view, but your explosion view. See? And change the scale maybe to 1 to 2. That's okay. And put it right here and close. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. See you to the next one. Bye bye.